Hello you guys, it's Emily. Welcome to the video where I match my nail polish slash nail art to my outfits for a week. I had a lot of fun editing this one and I hope you guys enjoy it too. So let's watch the video. Oh my god, that's so really awkward. All right, so starting with the ring finger, I am painting the base white and then I wanted to do a few accent nails So I took a pink nail polish. It's from Sally Hansen and I just did a pink French tip on them I tried my best. I'm not the greatest at it But I did use a little toothpick to clean up the mess and then on the white finger I started dotting these little cherries. This is a dotting tool. My nail polish is kind of old So it's like not the best to do like dotting work with it kind of like spreads, but it's not the worst then I used a little toothbrush and I painted on like these little cherry leaves. I think they're so cute. I tried my hardest to make these look cute, but this one was actually upside down, so then I had to redo it. Anyways, I then just painted little flowers on the other nails, and this is how they turned out. They're so cute. I'm absolutely in love with them. I also threw on the cherry ring I made onto my thumb if you want to know how to make it. I have a YouTube video on how I made it. They are little clay rings. My top is from Zara. I absolutely love it. It's a cropped cardigan. I think it suits the colors so well, especially with the cherry ring. I absolutely love it. And then my pants, they are actually thrifted. They are from Banana Republic. They are like these low rise, you know, like um, linen pants type of thing. And my shoes are thrifted Nike. This is the outfit. I absolutely love it. It's so comfy and the cutest. And I just, my favorite are the nails. I love the cherries. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is my secret one. It's my favorite nail polish ever, the Sally Hansen White Extreme Wear one. That's my best nail polish ever. Anyways, we're starting with a white base on all of the nails. Then I'm using a black dotting tool just to make a dot in the middle. And I'm using yellow Craft Smart paint, like Craft Smart acrylic paint. And basically, I'm just drawing on little sunflower petals. Craft Smart paint is super good because one, it dries so fast too. If you don't like something, you can just easily scratch it off. I learned that from Simply Nail Logical. Thank you, Christine. But yeah, use craft paint for like things like these. It makes it so much easier. And then on the ring finger, I just did two more tiny sunflowers. I thought it was like a cute little detail. And then the rest of the nails, I just kept white. It's super simple, but like the flowers are like, they're so detailed. It makes it look like fancy and like you spent hours doing it. I mean, I spent hours doing it, but if you're experienced, you can probably get it done super fast. Anyways, this is what the nails look like. They're my favorite. They're so cute and they match the background. Okay, but you probably want to know the outfit. This is the dress. It's literally the cutest dress ever. It's so vintage, so cute. And it is from Simple Retro. I actually did a video with them a while ago. If you guys want to see it, it will be linked in the iCard and in the description down below. Absolutely love the brand. And this dress is so cute. I absolutely love it. It's so vintage. And then my shoes are also the thrifted Nike ones. Okay, you guys, for the next nails, I actually used a, um, a little paintbrush. I wanted to try out a technique to do French nail tips because I was, like, struggling earlier. So I picked out a little paintbrush that I had. Actually, my sister gave me this one. Thanks, Miranda. I used it for nail polish. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, I was basically just painting on little French tips just to, like, try and get more control because, well, my nails are much longer now. This is a really old video by the time you guys are watching this, but they were much shorter and much harder to do, but then I gave up and just started using the brush because I got impatient. But then for the pink nails this pink is so cute it's literally adorable um i just went back to using the paintbrush because i wanted to like see if it actually helps anyways i basically don't use the paintbrush method anymore it's just like so much more clean up for no reason but for my thumb i used it anyways but then eventually like i said i went back to doing the you know normal paintbrush and then i just did a bunch of other pastel colors for my other nails which i didn't record because you know it's the exact same thing but these are the nails i love them and i thought they matched the little candy background at the dollar store i did two pink one blue one green and one white nail these nails give me very much color blocking vibes absolutely love that and they match the outfit perfectly my pink sweater is from h&m it's the cropped one i love it my green tank top is from urban planet my bag is white it's from jw pay my jeans are from winners they're the light blue wash i love these and then the basic shoes that i wear all the time the white nikes my go-to's they're iconic at this point but honestly i think i nailed this outfit it's so cute and i thought the like dollar store was fitting for this please like appreciate this I literally filmed this in public. It was so embarrassing. These 
next pair of nails. I never got the chance to record how I did them, but it's basically just this mint color from Sally Hansen, and I dotted on some white and pink flowers. There's one accent nail, which is a French tip, and I absolutely love this one. It's so cute, and it literally matches the theme of the skirt as well. This outfit gives me like cottage core vibes. I love it. My little cardigan is thrifted from Value Village. My skirt is also thrifted from Value Village. And surprise, my shoes are also thrifted. They're literally the exact same ones. My tank top is from Urban Planet and it matches the color of my nails. I love this one. It just gives me like, you know, grandma chic cottage core vibes. <laughs> Alright you guys, if you guys enjoyed that video, thank you so much for watching. Sorry this video is like kind of like a shorter one. I filmed it a long time ago and then I was never happy with it and then I finally got back to re-editing it and now I'm kind of like, a, I'm happy with it. I love the editing, like the graphics. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video too, if you like this video or want to see more, let me know down below. You can give this a thumbs up and you can hit that subscribe button down below. We were almost at 5,000 subscribers, which is crazy. Anyways, thanks again for watching. All my social media is linked down below and I will see you guys next week. Bye!